We're not off to a great start, huh? Tell you what, I'll, I'll give you a little motivation. You get hard right now, or I'm gonna laser your dick off. <laughs> you think that it's gonna encourage him? What's this, Marty? Use it or lose it, Marty. Come on, squirt! <laughs> Feeling sick. I can't. Come on, Marty. I'm sorry. It's okay. Honestly, it, it happens to a, a lot of guys. Truly. Not me, of course. <laughs> I think that it's one of the most disturbing scenes that the boys created. Kimiko, you're the best. She's gonna come back, she's gonna come back, protect yourself. That's something that you did wrong also into your past again that the season of being confronted to your past and for Homelander it's about what they did wrong to him for all of our guys it's what they did wrong at some point into their lives Bonjour! Comment ça va? T'as fait quoi aujourd'hui? What are you gonna say now? Six months ago, Starlight was in a clinic. What the fuck? She found out that she was pregnant and she had an abortion. I was just thinking you're all sweet. You did it for adoption? But that she murdered it! Yes! Punch the bitch! Clearly, your little power is nothing in front of Starlight, but clearly Starlight doing that in front of the television. Annie? Sage did it on purpose, she used it on purpose to have Annie ruining her own credibility. Frenchie, uh, I mean, I don't know. Did you do that? Not one of them had the backbone of standing up and say this is wrong. Because they were scared. I was a child. They were scared. You could have broken out of here any time you wanted. <laughs> we could have stopped you, but you didn't. I was saying that he wanted to be there. That we would be disappointed in you. Your need for approval and for love. What brought in the best psychologists in the world? You developed the protocol to carefully engineer that need so that you would be obedient. You developed no, that so. need for him to be loved? Not only you played with his body but also with his, his mind and all. Your need for love is so deep. It's so human. You'll we'll never be able to overcome that. That's where you're wrong. Yes, he's trying to overpass his humanity. I 
What? Oh, please, sorry, I don't hear you. Going boom, please, get up! Stop being so fucking nice to me! It was me. What, what was you? It was you. I'm sorry. You slept with the murderer of your family? <coughs> But I understand your anger, like... Uh, he would let you do it. He would have let you do it. You can give me a frontal lobotomy. And I don't have to fucking be me for a couple hours. I'll let you ask fuck me while we watch the Kim and Ray J video. Okay, so what do you want to put just right there? So, yeah. Uh, really deep? She got you with that? No, but with the eye itself, I don't want to collide. Ah, I thought about it. Going back? Ah no. It's a rapid no no. Oh that's my girls. No one can honest you better than Kimiko right there. It's okay, I'm fine. That was like the most private thing between you and me in a fucking broadcasted like that. That's a fucking violation. Really, it's not helping, okay? I agonized. Over that decision. I just wasn't ready. I don't even know it was high. And now when people look at me, whether they're supportive for judging or or angry, I have to relive it. And and my mom I'm so sorry, I Have you talked to her? She won't return my calls. It's bullshit, right? You're not gonna forgive me. You're right. I was gonna say, go fuck yourself. But I changed my mind. We're good. What you gonna do with that thing? Tell him that it's a wrong I mean, decision. Look, you're probably the only guy that would understand that I was gonna give it to my dad. Oh, you. There's enough here. He saved you too. Oh, you idiot. It's gotta be dying of brain cancer, right? I already took some. What about killing me? Jesus. Do you have powers? No. Apparently, yes. You're not like that, it's You're not like that, you will. Come on, it's not you. You will. She's into vote medications, you know, she would be okay with him playing that. Yes, let him please. Just need some air. Just need some air. Just need some air. Did she do something? How she is right now? You took it into his pocket during that egg. Oh, he's back, but at what cost? She did it. You killed them all when they didn't do anything to you, but not her. Oh, who was there and who gave the orders? 
that was a fucking good episode. I think that it's the best one of this season 4 so far. Because it's really, for the rhythm of it, each scene is important, each scene is bringing something, each scene is about a big moment of action or a big deep thing for one character or you know like a big conversation, like each scene is bringing something. The rhythm of this episode uh, is like that. Oh fuck! Really, I think that Armander's scene, Armander who is torturing these guys, let's say it like that, mentally is torturing them, they tortured him during all of his childhood, so he came back to have his revenge. He had one of them, then the other one. You know, to begin with that guy, with, oh, you taught me that, how to, 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 you know, to have a care for the ball, to, to play to that game. Remember when you were burning my skin inside and all? Uh, and then you're doing the exact same, like everyone into the room understood what was going on. When he said, go into it, everyone knew what it meant. That, uh, you know, uh, Marty, I think, would die. No one asked any questions, intervened, uh, even him, you know, it's you or you and your family into it, choose. Oh, that it, he knew. He knew that he would die. Uh, he said that he was sorry, he tried something, but clearly it was too late for Melinda, for John. He died being burnt like that. And that other guy, I think that it's one of the most shocking scenes of the boys because, you know, for once, they are not implying a little of, of a funny thing, you know, into it. They are not putting a way for the viewers to watch it and to maybe uh, take it the, the funny way. Like, you know, for example, the human centipede, when you're thinking of it, it's awful what we are seeing. But because that guy was, dis was described like that earlier, because we saw the crush that he had on her because of the entire situation, because of Kimiko and Frenchie's reaction, we're gonna lose about it. The scene with Armander asking Deep to blow a train, clearly it's close to a rape, it's really forcing two people to have a sexual uh, thing, it's awful, but because we know Deep's character and he's a character made, you know, to have fun, because we know everything about his sexual life, because during that moment, the the real question is more like, are they gonna do it? Because it's clearly a test of uh, how far they're gonna go. We are not thinking about truly what it means for, for guys, you know, to accept to do something like that. So really for all of the shocking scenes of the boys, the writers always put subtitles, ways for the viewers to see these scenes, to interpret, analyze these scenes, to have a funny one, to to be shocked, but not really deeply into our art, you know, into our, our values and all of that. Like, it's always, you know, with subtitles and stuff like that. When right there, it's really a man that he chose to torture based on that souvenir that he has about when that guy lost at him. And in a way, it's awful, like, we understood right there how much and for how long Armander was tortured, was used, that they played with him, with his body, with his mind. The fact that during all of this time they created that need of love that Armander is feeling. Like, really, you created everything about him, you used him that much, and into that awful no life that he had. He had little moments of pleasure by masturbating himself and surprising him doing it. You you lost about him, you humiliated him. For Armlander to feel humiliated, we know what it means. So really we can understand that someone like Armlander is gonna want to torture the guy and to have his revenge like that. But it's awful! The guy is masturbating himself in front of everyone. He's trying his best 
to do it but he can't because he knows that he's gonna die if he's not doing it and everyone is watching like really I felt sick like hell it's such a shadow like um, almost like a rape yes like uh, I'm not even sure that I should put the word uh, almost right there forcing someone to masturbate himself in front of you in front of people by threatening that person uh, it was awful. I'm really shocked by that moment. You know, deeply like um, the psychological aspect of that for the guy who is doing it, for Homelander, what it means for him to lots about it during that moment, to have his revenge with that, it's awful. Homelander, you know, really, when he entered into that room, how he was, his face and all, the guy has clearly multiple personalities, like we saw it with the mirror, but really, like right there, it was crazy Homelander with these crazy eyes, this crazy smile. It's not the same Homelander who is at the, the table of the seven, who, who was talking with Sage, you know, the first time that they met. It's not the same one. That woman intervening, you know, trying to look confident when she's talking to him, so, you know, she's gonna have a, not the control of him, but she's gonna, he's gonna respect her a little. At the end, the fact that he's killing everyone else, like, none of these guys did something wrong to you. But just, uh, you wanted to have your revenge, these persons are working for a vote, maybe you imagine that these persons did also terrible things because that's our job, they were obeying, because it's their job. And clearly, he's right with the fact that none of them asked themselves the question, like, this is wrong, what I'm doing right now, to do that to a kid, they really just obeyed. Okay, also, maybe they were afraid and all of that, but how far can you go with that excuse? With your moral values, with how far you can go with your mind, you know? I would have gone crazy, me, like, uh, even if I, I was threatened, I was afraid and all of that, I would go so crazy into my mind with doing something like that, like, it would disturb me so much, I, I would kill myself, like, do I understand what I mean? I would prefer to kill myself than to get killed, but you know, uh, I would see no other, issue, no other future. Do you understand what I mean? Oh, all of the, the Homelander part during this episode was already so rough, and in addition of that, we had all of the thing about Starlight, uh, the truth about Starlight being said about the fact that she blended that girl, and yes, she didn't know how to use her power during that moment. That's clearly what happened. Is it an excuse? Like, can we forgive heroes just like that because they don't know how to use their powers so they're hurting people? No. So I'm feeling bad for Starlight, but at the same time I'm like, ah, you know, if you're thinking about it, uh, not, not really good. But all of the thing about saying about her personal medical record, the fact that she aborted, it feels so wrong. And it feels also, you know, like a violation of her intimacy, her life, and it's awful. I'm feeling so sad for Starlight during that moment, so that's why I'm so glad that she's going for it and she's punching the girl. But clearly to do it in front of the camera, I knew that it was wrong. But I didn't guess that it was on purpose that Sage prepared all of that. Sage, she hired that awful lady, you know, redhead, because she knew that she had something against Starlight and she really gave everything to the girl to go against Starlight so Starlight would go crazy, would commit a mistake like that, so all of Starlight's movement you know would be destroyed all of her credibility would be destroyed by herself also the the thing you know about the law that they are trying to to have against the superheroes like pfft. oh starlight frenchie who is confessing the truth to colin i'm really like uh, you had no choice then to do it i'm glad that you did it but yes also when we think about it for sure, I love the chemistry between these two, but when we think about it, he murdered the family of the guy, and then he slept with the guy knowing the truth. 
for sure it's bad to do something like that and for sure Colin is right to think that Frenchy is a psychopath because he did it and that uh, it's the end of uh, everything that happened maybe one day between them, for sure. And uh, in a way I'm a little annoyed at myself that I love so much Frenchie that I didn't see how wrong it was for this love relationship to happen. I wanted it so much, I saw so much the chemistry and I love Frenchie so I didn't see how wrong it was. If a woman is facing his past and what they did wrong into their past, Annie for the, the blind lady, not for the abortion clearly, Frenchie with Colin's family, Kimiko with what she did to that girl, she, they are managing to escape with Yui and she's facing that girl during that moment. Is it the end for that girl? You know, we're not gonna see her again anymore. We'll see. The only one who has no issue is Mother's Milk, you know. Butcher, Butcher, he has a power clearly that he's not aware of and which is really destroying everyone, including himself. And right there at the end, Yui's mom gave compound V to the dad. The compound V that Yui took with him or something else, you know. I'm suspecting her. For sure she did it. And I think a lot because she has no, you know, uh, she has nothing against vote. On the contrary, she was using their things before. And right there, did she take it from Yui, you know, with that hug moment? Or maybe she had it on her own. What it's gonna mean for his dad. That was just a little of it, but... Merci. That was a huge episode and really the best one of this season so far. We went so deep with the actions, the characters, the conversations, really with their evolutions, with uh, them being confronted to, to their issues, to what they did. Everything was, oh, everything was so great. So well written and played also. I love so much this casting, they are playing so well. And for sure, Armlander's actor in front of everyone, like uh, his interpretation of Armlander each time, uh, I'm amazed. Ooh, so cool! Tell me, tell me what did you think about it? If you are as amazed as I am, tell me. Okay, so it's all for you and for me for today. So it's all for me for now. So bye for now. Bye. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Great. Next one. Next.